Every time I go up or down on the joystick, I get unwanted yaw. So it normally descends and it uh, yaws to the right hand side. So I'm going to try and fix it with the calibration of the drone. If I go down on the stick, you can see it initiates a right hand yaw movement. Going up, it actually goes to the left. It's not very good. So when you're trying to get the shot and it just uh, you lose control, it's not very good. So I've tried this several times. It doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is take the controller apart and clean the joystick. So this is the list of things you're going to need. You're going to need a good cup of tea to go along with the controller dismantling. You're going to need a very good small Allen key something sharp like a knife to prise open the parts, some tweezers, a selection of flathead and Phillips screwdrivers, maybe something else like one of these bicycle tire removal clips things to uh, prise things open, maybe something a bit stronger. You're going to need some alcohol and cotton buds and then after everything's done a nice big fat cigar to celebrate and if that doesn't work the ultimate tool is obviously a hammer and just smash the thing to pieces. Right, so here we go then. Let's take this thing apart. So first thing is you need your small Allen key and there's two little screws here, one there and one there. So I've already undone them a little bit. So take them off. side now the knife something sharp just to basically go and take this top cover off here so that's what we're taking off next knife in and just prise it open oh sorry I've got to take these bits off Let's see if we can put these off on here like this. It's a little bit fiddly. There's one. And two. Okay, so yeah, so next thing is this base plate here. Stick a knife in there, just work it in a little bit. It's a bit fiddly. Oh, and voila. Okay, just be careful on, uh, there's two lugs here. This one is a bit wobbly now, where I've just done it before, but uh, anyway, that's off. Okay, so uh, also have to be careful on this uh, connector here, I guess, as well. Uh, so the next thing to do is to um, undo these two little screws there. There's one there, one there, and another Phillips one here on the corner. And this one's not coming out quite so easily. Right, well, that didn't go according to plan, unfortunately. So what I had to do, I managed to get that one screw out on this side. And as you can see, I've actually exposed the uh, joystick control inside. And fortunately, um, I didn't manage to do this side because of that screw. So I can focus in on it.
um, which is why you need a nice set of tools. I think that this has been taken off before because that screw was uh, pretty much uh, ragged as it were. Um, however, I can still see inside I can still see the servo controller, whatever it's called there. So what I actually did was I did put with some cotton wool um, some isopropyl alcohol because I don't have any cleaning fluid. And I squirted a little bit in there and then I blew some air through it as well to dry it off. Um, whilst doing that, obviously I was wiggling the controls the joystick so I'm hoping although it's sort of an aborted mission I'm hoping that it may have worked so I will let you know and look at that success <laughs> that is brilliant so there you go look I've actually didn't even do a full clean didn't get the controller apart and as you can see, I'm moving up and down on the uh, left stick. And there's no yaw whatsoever, which is fantastic. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be any of the problems I had before. So although it wasn't a uh, complete strip down, um, it did actually work. That isopropyl cleaner alcohol cleaner is very good. Don't use any other cleaner, just use that because uh, it can damage your circuitry. So I think that is a success. I think I'll get my cigar out. And not the hammer. <laughs>